Hi, so I did some modifications at home last night on the laptop for these uh, drawings and turns out I didn't copy back over the USA folder so I only made one or two changes so I'm just going to do it on the fly so right here I put a punch mark onto the single part now I only for standalone beams I only produce single parts uh, so on my PC at the office I have a compass coming in here but I created these on the laptop so there's no compass and there's a uh, punch mark so what if I want to do is just look at the scale one and a half is the one let's go in if you click on the green box uh, I guess not everybody knows this if you click on the green box outside you can see that this is the drawing style that's used so I'm going to go into that drawing style and uh, I already have it ready to go this is it here so beam front uh, let's just see view properties one and a half inch and a half to one so that's correct and what I'm going to do is I can update it so let's just check compass position you can see I have it in as an arrow so it's already set so just go use and then click here and the problem you'll have is that now my compass position has disappeared which is a problem now I can see it I just don't have a label for it so let's go back into that drawing style again and it should be available to me in object presentations there's punch marks and if you come in here uh, I believe it's under holes there should be only one I think punch mark beam side there you go apply use and then it'll put in that label for me because if I don't put in the label it's gonna not be as obvious so there you go that's how you adjust things on the fly there's not too many beams in this project this is the project here so if you want you can just go so this is a plate that's okay so let's close the plate and that's the only beam I have open right now so let's close the plate drawn I'm going to just go through these and check them all right so that one is good that one is good so I'll close these and I'll open the beams and we can check them save yes that should save automatically for some reason it's not and that's that beam so let's go back in here document manager and so it just shows you how quick you can do everything after a while once you get used to it so i'm going to go into all these beams all right so some of these i've scaled back to inch is to one so you can see this one is so let's go in so on the fly then we just need to change this uh, beam front few properties so it's probably better I don't because if I change it I have to change all three so let's just leave it the way it is uh, and it's going to scale this back up but I'll put my compass mark back in and then if you want you can scale it back down here I know that's like two steps but it's easier to do that than to change the scale for the tree views and then change it back again now you don't necessarily need to change it back again I guess would be the issue so this one does not have a directional arrow so really I should have I need to bring my sentence from this computer back onto my laptop this this shouldn't keep telling me that I don't know why I shouldn't need to tick that box because I'm not changing anything every time I go in okay so now and I'll scale that up and so on and you can see my arrow has come in here and then I'll just scale this back down 
obviously you don't want to do this for a bigger job you probably would be just as well off to delete the views and output the drawings again with the correct scale and that would probably be faster and easier b6 we can see this one has the punch mark so if we do this one again the beams are probably going to get bigger and but everything else should really kind of stay the same i should get my compass mark here and, and i've got my punch mark still here and you can see it has scaled up let's drag that back that slowly creeps across the screen in case you didn't notice gets a little frustrating so that's pretty good and then next one so so on and that's it i'm just going to do the last couple of beams but i don't need to do them on the video so it just shows you if you kind of get stuck like that you can just do like 10 or 10 minutes and so be able to fix everything all right take care